Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall, and this is your Full Moon Angel Reading with spiritual guidance spanning from March 28th through April 10th, 2021. A new chapter is unfolding, and this Full Moon Cycle is helping us to release what no longer serves us, especially in the realm of relationships. This is all part of a huge planetary upgrade in consciousness. So, be sure to stay tuned for the angel's guidance on exactly how to stay centered and optimally aligned with peace and well-being this moon cycle. So, our full moon will be in the sign of Libra, opposite the sun in Aries. This represents an awakening in your perspective of self in the context of others, and an opportunity to rebalance self with others in relationships. Now, according to the angels, relationships are like ground zero for where the most profound spiritual lessons and transformations unfold in our lives. Since March of 2020, We've all been on quite the collective journey of major consciousness and global cultural shifts. And our relationships have been center stage containers and mirrors for the inner growth we have undergone. Now, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so it represents a rebirth and a new beginning, a new cycle. And according to the angels, this full moon in Libra is helping us with that new beginning by guiding us to cleanse and release all that no longer serves us to make way for a huge upgrade in our energy and consciousness. Anything that once seemingly held you back in your self-concept or your relationship patterns is now being pushed up to the surface by the spiritual energy flowing through our collective. Here, the angels want to remind you of something essential to understand on the path of spiritual awakening. All of your limits and challenges are self-imposed. I know that's not easy to hear. None of our egos feel comfortable when faced with this idea that our suffering is of our own making. Sometimes the ego will get downright angry and self-righteous at this thought and pull out its long list of reasons and excuses as to why you couldn't help but be the victim of whatever difficulties you've encountered. And this message is going to be triggering and frightening for the ego, but it's a healing ray of truth. The ego is clinging to those excuses as to why you're a victim or you're powerless as a way of defending itself. The ego is not capable of showing you the truth. It is only capable of defending its frightened illusions in an attempt to keep you stuck in an identity that is not, never was, and never will be truly you. The universe is giving you the gift of a powerful opportunity to shed the ego's limiting constructs like a snake sheds its skin. And it's doing this by way of shining a spotlight on ego's illusions. And again, this isn't always comfortable, but it is empowering. Because from the moment of this awakening, you have a choice. Reassert your attachment to ego's illusion of disempowerment, or cleanse and liberate yourself of these things in order to embrace truth and empowerment. This moon cycle We have a cosmic alignment between the Moon, Sun, Venus, and the asteroid Chiron, which represents the archetype of the wounded healer. This is a very favorable alignment for deep soul retrieval, the healing of broken pieces of the heart, and revelations in your perspective that will help you to take responsibility for both your suffering and your infinite power and potential. You see, when you are willing to take responsibility for self-limiting beliefs and choices, 
you break the spell of those illusions of limitation and naturally claim that you are powerful, that you are the co-creator of your reality. The angels have an important message to share with us regarding how this influences our relationships. When you take responsibility for the work, effort, and balancing that is required of you in order for you to do your part in creating a healthy relationship, it revolutionizes your level of fulfillment in relationships. This moon cycle holds the potential for you to start seeing your relationship patterns in a whole new light so that you can discern what in your relationships is your responsibility to work on and what is not yours to work on but instead belongs to the other person. This is a karmic healing and awakening for codependency. You're being guided to learn how to independently love and support yourself and thereby no longer make your partner responsible for fixing the deficits in self-love that only you are truly capable of healing. This is an invitation to simultaneously raise the bar in your values and standards for how you wish to be treated in your relationships. So if you're partner is draining you, asking too much, or again trying to make you responsible for fulfilling something that only they can ultimately heal and fulfill within themselves, then this is your moment to wake up. This is your time to draw up healthier boundaries, have important conversations, and recreate your relationship as a better and stronger container for real healthy love. Yes, it's possible that you might have to face karmic wounds during this time. You may even be guided to examine your root relationships going all the way back to your parents in order to raise yourself into higher understanding, equanimity, forgiveness, and healing. Whatever the case may be on your journey, embrace and trust what lessons are given. Breathe through them with faith in your strength to co-create something more supportive for your life. Practice unconditional self-love and self-forgiveness. These are your superpowers during this upgrade. Now, the current energy also has a very favorable alignment to the planet Saturn. This means that you're really ready to learn and ascend into a higher understanding now. Transcending the wounds of the past is basically activating your inner teacher so that you can help to be an example or a space holder for higher integrity and higher energy in your life. So after you do this inner work that you're being guided to do, you may find that this is a great time to deepen or upgrade relationship commitments and make big healing decisions for your future. And by the way, the angels are communicating that a little effort in doing these things on your part will actually go a very long way in bringing positive results about. And the reason why is because the collective spiritual energy is currently in a state of massive transformation. You see, last moon cycle, we received a collective heart chakra activation, a deepening in our empathy to help us harmonize with ourselves and, of course, with others. This moon cycle, we're getting a huge cleanse so that this new energy can root into us at each chakra level and recalibrate our world. Each individual is going to feel differently with this release and simultaneous assimilation of the new vibrations. Basically, anything within you that doesn't serve this upgrade is under pressure and will be squeezed out like squeezing a fruit. Whatever juices are inside are now or are going to be coming out. In other words, this may feel more or less challenging based on your current state and the inner work that you've already perhaps done on your path. If you're highly spiritually sensitive, 
you may expect potential physical symptoms of this energy shift too, including increased dizziness, tiredness, maybe headaches, or anxiousness. If this is the case, simply take excellent care of yourself. Sleep for longer hours, rest throughout the day, keep your schedule as simple and easy as you can, and surround yourself with gentle thoughts, words, and energies. Remember, no matter what these shifts feel like for you right now, this too shall pass. This is a temporary part of a journey into very supportive, healing, and balanced energy. With that said, let's go to our oracle cards for some messages to support us through these changes. Today, I am working with the Spirit Animal Oracle Cards by Colette Baron-Reed. Our first card is the Lizard Spirit. The Lizard Spirit. This card is a reminder of the incredible power of your imagination. What you focus upon in your mind's eye attracts energies that weave into your belief system and into your reality and manifest. This is your opportunity to evaluate your current state of mind. Are you allowing negative thoughts or worries to run amok and create unnecessary challenges? If you find that this is true, then your angels are here for you, inviting you to take back your power. Practice meditation for stillness. Release attachment to any fear-based illusions of the ego. And call upon your angels to help you to become steadfast in cleansing your psyche of thoughts or perspectives or beliefs that do not serve your peace. Then you can capitalize on the amazing power and potential of your imagination. Meditate in nature, it's my number one suggestion, and then allow yourself to dream of the life that best serves your peace and well being. What you imagine can be yours when you believe it and accept it. Call upon your angels to co create this new, peaceful, fulfilling reality with you now and you'll get beautiful results. Our second card is the Beaver Spirit. The Beaver Spirit. So this is quite a synchronicity because the Beaver Spirit, like the Lizard Spirit, is also a representation of your incredible power to co-create your reality. Your angels are communicating that a big dose of realizing your power is manifesting now. You have the power to make your dreams come true. And the universe is helping to obliterate any self-blocking thoughts or beliefs that ever caused you to avoid or disavow yourself of your power and potential. This is a big moment for you to claim what is truly yours and to walk your talk. And remember, all that you create in this life rests on the foundation of your inner beliefs and the outer energies that you choose to place all around you. This is part of your foundation. So if there are any unsupportive things in your life's foundation, you'll be asked to let go of them now. Trust this process. Take action steps to build your bright future. And know that the angels and all of the heavens are partnering with you in this now and always. Our third card is the Bat Spirit. The Bat Spirit. The bat spirit fits in perfectly with the messages that we have received because it is a sign of rebirth. Remember that after every ending, there is a new beginning. This is assured because it is part of how the divine laws of our reality flow. Earth is in a constant state of birth, death, and rebirth, and your soul is along for that ride. So just as the bat emerges from the womb-like cave, the soul awakens in perfect timing when we are called to begin anew. The angels are communicating that it is safe for you to let go of what is now naturally meant to fall away from your life. It is safe to hold faith and to trust that the new chapter will serve you in ways that will be better and that will support your authentic truth and well-being. The whole world is being reborn right now in so many ways all at once. 
Be patient with this birthing process. Care for yourself lovingly and trust in the harmony of the universe. Thank you so much for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell below. Do let me know how these messages resonated with you in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to keep in touch and receive daily angel messages from me. You'll find all of the links to do so in the description below, including the link to sign up to receive my channel, The Angel Messages, via email to listen to my podcast, Through the Eyes of the Angels, or if you're spiritually sensitive and want to learn how to tap into the angels and the power of your own heart, you can click the link below for a free video series training on that. I'm sending you all of my love and gratitude and know that until next time, that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!